Welcome to the 2023 CodeMonkey implementation tutorial. To proceed, please log into your school admin account. Let's get started. Subscription of every account has been renewed to allow the continued use of the same account from last year. However, in the event that there are inactive classrooms or any dropout students, it is important to archive the inactive classrooms and to archive the accounts of dropout students to maintain the accuracy of school records. To align with the classes leveled up, all the CodeMonkey classrooms must be renamed accordingly. On the My Classrooms page, click on the kebab menu and select Edit. Type in the new name, suppose, PP to 1, and change the grade. Click on the Save icon. It is requested that the names for all classrooms be changed to the next higher level. Assign a co-teacher to each corresponding class. Please note the need to create new classrooms and accounts for this year's new class PP students. In the event of a section reshuffle within the school, students can be moved to another classroom section. For a single student, in the Students tab, locate the student name and click on the Move button. For multiple students, on the left of the student name, choose as many students as you like by checking the box. From the Select Bulk Action drop-down menu, choose Move to a Classroom. For both single and multiple students, a pop-up window will appear and any existing classroom can be chosen from the drop-down menu. The classroom that is selected from the drop-down menu is the one that the students will move to. Alternatively, this bulk transfer feature enables the movement of multiple students between classrooms using only one CSV file. To prepare the CSV file, open an Excel sheet and use column 1 for student's CodeMonkey username. Column 2 for classroom code of what would be their new classroom. Now, where can you locate the classroom code? In the classrooms page and under the students tab. In this example, student 1 transfers to 3B, from 3A, second student to 4B, and third student to 7B. To save the Excel file as a CSV format, navigate to File and select Save As. Choose the desired folder. Give a name. And select Comma Delimited from the drop down menu and click Save. Now, on My Classrooms page, click on the kebab menu and select Bulk Transfer Students. Click on Choose File to choose the CSV file and then click on Submit. Once confirmed, please wait for a few moments until the loading bar reaches 100%. Upon successful upload of the file, a confirmation message will be received. Thank you for watching. Write code, catch bananas, save the world.